I'm trying to go from bronze to unreal while getting zero eliminations the entire time. And I made it to one of the final zones in this diamond one ranked game. There's only five players left when the storm fully engulfs me. And I have to pull off the slickest storm play to stay alive. Oh my God, it's beaming. I wanted to showcase every strategy I'm doing to win these games with zero elims. Because on my last video, the top rated comment, why do you get so easy lobbies, bro? I'm in diamond one and everyone is so cracked. So I have easy lobbies, huh? Let's take a look at how I got here. I hopped in a truck and this sweat named Potato instantly heard it. And he literally just got done piecing this guy up. Another guy starts beaming me. Potato absolutely fries him. So I ditch the truck and base up. And then I'm just instantly breachered by this guy named Carlos. <laughs> to rotate out again, fly right by Potato and another sweat. This dude has six E-limbs and I land right outside a zone with both of them looking at me. Yeah, this is pretty easy so far. Now this is where 99% of people will just rotate in with Storm, get lobby focused by these two guys and then complain about how their lobbies are hard. I didn't do that. I had a good amount of white HP to use and this was the moment I was gonna use it. I just had to wait for my broom cooldown. I'm tanking. Oh my God, it's beaming. And sadly, my men miss doesn't even gain me any HP. I have to use all my heals right here. I just need to wait for my broom. There's still three players directly in my way of getting into storm. And one of them is this skin spamming the grenade launcher. Yeah, let me avoid this. But eventually my broom was ready. Even though I had to go right past three people, the time was now. It was a perfect rotate, boys. What was wrong, buddy? But I base up. Oh my god. And before I know it, the zone is moving in with three people build fighting right towards me. Oh my god. My tank a little storm again. So I make another storm play and I'm gonna have to fly right by Bull Bull to get to zone. It's a very risky play, but as this is happening, another player goes down. This guy sneaks up right on Potato, but Potato straight dodges it. Like he literally crouches under the shot. And this dude's saying my lobbies are easy. Like my dude Potato's got a showering gone, man. Anyway, Courage Jay escapes. But unfortunately, he runs right into Carlos hiding on low ground. Hello, motherfucker. There was now only four of us in this tiny moving zone. And Carlos was just delivered the hardest hitting shotgun in the game. Things were about to really spice up from here. Bull Bull is just raining it down from high ground with that grenade launcher, forcing Potato down onto low ground. Him and Carlos get into it. Now's my chance. Got a blast. Thankfully, the dude on high ground is popping a mini. Go, 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 go. And I get a perfect rotate ahead of zone. Well, it was almost perfect. He tagged me one time. Ooh, God spot. Yink. But Potato sees me rotating ahead and brooms onto me. So I know I'm in a bad spot. I want to stay as low key as possible. And he just sits there staring at me, menacing me. What you gonna do about it, bro? <laughs> My dude potato gets the craziest case of instant karma. I know. Sticky grenade right to the face. <laughs> I didn't know Bull Bull had range like that. And this blew up all of the builds, which wasn't good for me because I ended up right in his box. <laughs> Oh my god! Thankfully, he dips out of there faster than I've ever seen. He does not realize I am doing a zero elimination challenge. And uh, he's getting focused by Bull Bull on high ground. I, on the other hand, go completely low ground and to the left. No one has an angle on me. The only problem is I just switched to new binds, okay? My broom needed to recharge. I was in storm. I started to choke really badly, I'm gonna be honest. Bro, I'm scuffing so bad. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm in a terrible situation, but Potato Boy isn't much better off. He's about to die to Storm. He barely gets this slurp off, but it's still not enough to save him. But he 
rooms out. One shot will do it. It's such a risky play, but it pays off and he gets ahead of Storm. Hi, there's me. I'm still struggling. But my brain kind of starts working again somewhat, and I'm able to tarp in, and somehow things instantly turn bad for Potato. Bull Bull with barely any HP pulls off a grenade launcher shotgun play. Straight up maxes Potato, taking him out. It's top three. Bull Bull is letting Potato know. I'm telling you, bro, they had a beef. They had a rivalry. Wait, Bull Bull, what are you doing, bro? Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, he did that. Bro got stuck in the emo wheel. GG. Top two. Let's go. Out of nowhere, it's suddenly a 1v1 between me and Carlos, and he still has that mythic charge shotgun. And I'm already about to be out of materials. Got those ramps on him? I have less than 100 mats now. I had to pull off some miracles here. It was time to start schmoving. Scaring him? Scaring him? It's funny thinking back to that top comment, dude. Dismissing everything I'm doing here. It's something so common in the gaming community, man. Because if you were in this situation with no materials, you ain't pulling this off. These are plays only the Sharingan can predict. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, I dodged it. To that one guy who left that comment, I just want you to know one thing. There's a big difference between being in an easy lobby making a lobby look easy. Just make him flustered! Make him flustered! Come on! Come on! Really? No! <laughs> Alright, 12% for my efforts.